A double murder suspect in Akron could face the death penalty. Sean Ford is accused of beating a couple to death with a sledgehammer. Now police say the murders happened just days after Ford beat his girlfriend and put her in the hospital. News Channel 5's Bob Jones has more. Handcuffed and his feet shackled, Sean Ford emerged from a police vehicle in a jail jumpsuit, the suspect in a vicious double murder that has stunned Summit County. you have anything to say about the charges against you, Sean? I'm not talking about it right now. You're not talking? Did you kill this couple? Ford kept his head down once inside the court, and then the judge called his case, rattling off the charges, seven felonies. That is also known as aggravated murder. Both of those charges are felonies of the first degree. New Franklin police say Ford used a sledgehammer to kill well-known civil attorney Jeffrey Schobert and his wife, Peg. Their bodies found in their bedroom, a sledgehammer in the bed next to Jeff's body. This is one of the most brutal that I've seen. Assistant Barberton prosecutor Holly Reese reviewed the evidence and said this could be a death penalty case. Absolutely it could. That's going to be up to the grand jury, though, in the county prosecutor's office. The Schobert's daughter, Chelsea, was stabbed and suffered a skull fracture during a party at an Akron home on March 23rd. Police originally arrested Jermaine Ruiz, but he was released last night after new information pointed to Ford as Chelsea's attacker. She remains at Akron Children's, and police say she has been interviewed. Ford was out on bond when the Schoberts were murdered. He was found guilty of robbing this Akron barbershop, but was released from jail until sentencing, which would have been April 15th. We asked police for a motive for the killings. Unless he sits down and tells me a motive, right. I mean, I need, that's what I'll need to do, to sit down and talk to him, see if he's got a reason that this happened. And that was Bob Jones reporting. Ford's bond was set at $2 million today. He is due back in Barberton Court Wednesday for his arraignment. Tomorrow, Ford will be in Akron Muni Court on the felonious assault charge filed today.